Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be going through my makeup collection. I've got a new drawer unit that I'm just, just touched my lips, so in love with and I wanna show you all the things I have. Um, I'm kinda of playing around with my makeup storage. I got a new dresser so I can get rid of my cheapy, broken, fake Alex drawers. Um, so yeah, welcome to my makeup collection video. Let's get into it. So this is my new little drawer unit. This is the top of it. Um, yeah, this was not expensive. This was like 200 something dollars off of walmart.com. Um, might still be a little cheapy, but it's cute, is it not? So let's get into these drawers, shall we? So this is the drawer in which I keep my foundations, my concealers, primers, and powders. And I have a couple things to put into this. Okay, so my new Smashbox primer, I'm going in there. Um, my Dior concealer. This is separated, well, other than this one, into drugstore concealers and then high-end concealers. Let's focus, not on my hand. What is your problem? There we go. Um, then I have the Tarte foundation that I don't really love. That can go in here. I want this to stand up. Um, I put my New Makeup Forever foundation in here. Ooh, we might make these stand after all. And then my new M Cosmetics cushion foundation as well as the refill can go in here. And that's something that I really, really wanted when it came to like a new like unit organization system. I wanted my foundations to stand up as well as my primers. I want my concealers to stand up too, but I think I have too much in this. I don't know. I might just have to get over myself and just mix them. <laughs> So uh, this section has a lot of my favorites in here. Um, like the Dior Air Flash is my fave. I love, okay, I love the LYS foundation, but the cap won't stay on. Um, I, yeah, I love the LYS foundation. I have my Shiseido foundations in here, as well as the new tinted moisturizer. I love those. My two Dior, they are the same. It is the Forever Skin Glow, just the new formula. Um, KVD, not my favorite, but it's in here because it fits. Um, the Dior Backstage Foundation, I love this so much. Um, where's my NARS? Okay, my NARS over here, the new one. The Nicosis, I love these as well. Ooh, the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. Big yas. And then the Fenty Eavesdrops are my favorite. Um, NARS, Smashbox, the new Charlotte Tilbury. Um, and then here are the ones I really don't use. I have my stick foundations. Um, yeah, my Fenty, my YSL. I guess this is discontinued already, but that's fine. Um, Laura Mercier. So that's that. Oh, yeah, back here are my drugstore foundations. We have the ColourPop, the L'Oreal, the Tinted Hydrator from Wet n Wild. I love the L'Oreal Infallible. Okay, I don't know why people say this is discontinued. Because, like, I got this at Walmart, yo. So, you tell me. Um, then I have all my concealers, my drugstore concealers in here. And then this little guy, I don't know. Then I have my high-end concealers, and I have a lot of favorites in here. This one is a new favorite. The Dior Skin Correct is a favorite. The Closes is my all-time favorite. Big Forever is a favorite. Um, LYS, I like a lot. The Pat McGrath, I love. A lot of these things are just getting buried down here, so I want to stand them up. Hold on. Yeah, never mind. I don't have enough to stand them up. That's fine. Okay, so primers. Um, this one's new that I really have been liking. This one from Wet n Wild is so stinking good. Um, I've been loving this new Plump Right Back from NYX. And then I've also been loving this. This is the Acne Fighting Putty Primer. It's a little bit more creamy than the original. And then in here I have my powders. Um, Charlotte Tilbs. Um, number 7, Kosas. And then Dior and a backup of Dior. And then my Pat McGrath under eye setting powder. And then it's, these two just didn't fit. Um, the Vitamin Rich Face Base from Bobbi Brown. And the Laneige Glowy Makeup Serum. 
So yeah, this drawer is foundations, concealers, primers, and foundations. And this drawer, it's already getting messy, and then my blankets are in the way. This is my blush drawer. She gets her own drawer because I love blush so much. Um, the only issue with the, how deep these drawers are is that I can't really see, really, but, you know, compromises. So I have a few things to add in here. This is my new Patrick Ta blushes. Just going to go with the rest of my Patrick Ta blushes. I love these. Um... Oh no, we have some reorganizing to do. Um, I have my newer M Cosmetics, so she needs to go with the rest of the M Cosmetics ones. Scoot these back. Okay, then I can take it on. Put that one back. And then the NARS Orgasm Liquid Blush. I can probably just put it right there on top of other things. Um, and then. Where can I put you? Let's put her back there. So yeah, these are all my cream blushes. Um, Flower Beauty, Charlotte Tilbury, Milani's back here. Then I have this Merit one, Milk, made by Mitchell Nude Sticks Fenty, and the NARS one. And I have my blush palettes in here as well. Got to my Pat McGrath, Natasha Genona, the Olimar Cosmetics. Then these are my cream blushes in here as well as drugstore blushes so i got milani undone beauty fenty car 28 my elf one this lila b one then my drugstore powders milani this one was my favorite for a long time um okay not all drugstore i guess there's some that didn't fit so yeah got that i didn't even talk about these these are my m cosmetics serum blushes i love these the rare beauty ones i love this one i got and a boxy charm. Then I have my powder blushes. Got both of my Dior Rosy Glow blushes. This one is still in the box. This is ColourPop at first blush. That one's really pink and sparkly. Um, this one from Bare Minerals I love. Got two NAR two NARS ones. Oh, I've got a runny nose. Got my Buxom blushes well as essence blushes because these are up front because I love these. Then my Clinique, what are these? Flower pops? Petal popping? Cheek pop? Blush pop? Okay. Real cute. Um, got e.l.f. Mented Cosmetics. This one's really, really pretty. Uh, my favorite, Pat McGrath Labs. My M Cosmetics and my Charlotte Tilbury blush. And then this blush bouquet from Joy. I love. And Fenty, cover effects, and then all my Patrick Ta. So this is the blush drawer. She's my fave. Ignore that. Then we'll scooch to the bronzer and highlighting drawer. And I've got a couple things to add to this one as well. Okay, so I have my powder blush. What? My powder bronzers. And then my bigger powder bronzers and my cream bronzers and my cream highlighters and then my regular highlighters over here as well. Oh my gosh, I'm kind of nervous of where I'm going to put these newer ones. Mm, okay, so my M Cosmetics new one can go in here. And then I have the rare one, which is super orange. The Makeup by Mario is my favorite. The KBD Charlotte Tilbury Persona. Got a mini new six in here and then this Soul Body one. Um, then I have my bigger bronzers, so I got the, what is this one called? Filmstar Bronze and Glow. My, what is this one? Airbrushed, air, what? Airbrushed Bronzer from Charlotte Tilbes. My Hourglass Palette, Marc Jacobs, Undone Beauty, Alamar Cosmetics back here. And then I have my Kimchi Chic, got this ABH, Catrice. Physician's Formula, couldn't think of it. Um, Revlon, Elf, this is a wonderful bronzer. Then Milani, Ment Cosmetics. Uh, then my Becca. These are some of my, like, my more favorites. Um, Gucci is one of my favorites. Tom Ford is, like, my all-time favorite bronzer. Um, Dior, Hourglass, Huda, Kosish. And Fenty. Um, 
Then this is the Hollywood Superstar Highlighting, what? This is the highlighter from Charlotte Tilbury. It just didn't really have room for it anywhere else, so it's going in there. The LYS Bronzer, Nabla, Patrick Ta. What is this? Danessa Myricks. Um, Fenty Cream, Tower 28, and the e.l.f. Then back in here for the highlighters, I have my Auric, my Maybelline, Charlotte Tilbury, Flawless Filter, the Flawless Filter, no, the Hollywood Beauty Light Wand and Spotlight. Got a loose highlighter from Artist Couture. Um, the iconic, iconic London Illuminated Drops, I love. This one is the Infinity Glass from Linda Hallberg. Then this little tart thing. <laughs> Say Beauty, whatever it is. My Hourglass, the Merit Beauty, so, so pretty. Um, Tower 28. Then I have these two powder ones from Zero because they didn't fit anywhere else. Um, But they're going to have to move. There we go. That fits back there. And then the Danessa Myricks can go in here since it's a cream. But now I need to find where I can put this. Mm. See, I have the things that I don't use too often back here. This one's actually pretty, really nice. From Cover Effects. <sighs> Got Wet n Wild back here. Dior. Pat McGrath. This one is. <gasps> There's me. Beautiful. Laura Mercier. Natasha Genona. Dior. What is this one? Revolution Pro. That one's really good. Revlon. Super, super good. I bet Jeff, I moved these two somewhere. I'm just going to do that. <laughs> and then M Cosmetics can go right there. Then I have my two Kaleidos. This one is their, like, multi-chrome one. Is that what I'm looking for? Multi-chrome? Yeah. I think so. Then Big Mac. Um, a bunch of fun Fenty ones that another pat mcgrath nabla milk and Vesca. so yeah that's this drawer this just makes me happy okay then this bottom drawer is mostly empty i just have some more like storage stuff that i'm not using and then a bunch of like face palettes that i don't use and then these two hold eyeshadow palettes and like i said they're getting a little dirty Oh, uh, yeah, this makes me happy. Um, <laughs> so I have just a bunch of different things in here. Um, I have my four Pat McGrath Mothership palettes. Um, Patrick Shaw, Charlotte Tilbury. And these are my Natasha Genona, but then I have my, I have two of the holiday palettes for Pat McGrath because one came and broken. Um, just one shade. Then I have my Natasha Genona Gold, the Trio Chrome. Glam, Biba, Bronze, Zendo, and the Glam Face Palette. Then back here I have my Clarity Cosmetics So More Amazing Palette, which is super fun. Oh man, things are falling. Then I have my Aether Beauty, my Danessa Myricks Cream Palette, the Flower Beauty Desert Light Palette, and then Avocado Toast and Blu-ray Muffin from BH. Then I have this little stack pile line of things dose of colors friendcation palette the urban decay honey palette then i have my five abh palettes which i don't think i'll ever get rid of don't use them um then i have the flower pond palette from kaleidos which i just adore then this one is the astro pink love it mark jacobs then the Moon Dust for Urban Decay, the Little Rock Fairy Tale Forest, the Dirty Martini from Glam Light, the Mercury Retrograde, and then my Escape Pop palette. Then this thing little, holds my like little tiny palette. I got this from Pat McGrath. <laughs> it was 10 bucks and it's Pat McGrath, so yeah. Then I have my three quads, Pat McGrath, and I have the Rowan 1111 palette. Oh, there's me again. Palette, and then a backup. Then I have my five Charlotte Tilbury quads. I have the ColourPop little thingy. My Revlon cream eyeshadow palette. Super, super good. Then I have 
whoa, then I have two ColourPop quads. This Lila B quad, which is super interesting. And then I have this little Stila Duo, this little Revlon palette, and then the NARS palette that I just don't use. Then I have my three Revlon palettes. I love this formula. So then I have five of my little mini Natasha Denoise. I got the gold, the glam. I'm trying to remember these. Mini Star, Mini Zendo, and Mini Retro. Then I have my four little Huda Beauty palettes back here. I got the Khaki Haze, the Wild Jaguar, which I love, and then the Pastel Lilac and Pastel Mint. So that is this eyeshadow drawer. I like how this one is organized, um, kind of, but then the bottom one is like an absolute mess because I have some larger palettes that just don't stand up. So, okay. So you can see I have another Mercury Retrograde from Huda Beauty. Maybe I'll do like a, like a who am I, like a, a nobody, um, but potentially a giveaway item. I have some things that are duplicates that have been like stocking up on just, you know, just why not? Um, LA Girl, BH Cosmetics, got my Jacqueline palette back here, my Morphe 35 Boss Mood palette, which I love. Got NYX back here, got Tati Beauty, <laughs> one of my first palettes ever, the Swamp Queen. Got Book of Magic, Flamingo from Violet Boss. The Nick Tutorials from Beauty Bay and my Mitchell palette from Beauty Bay. Then Ice Cream Dream. Then I have three of these larger palettes from ColourPop. This is the It's a Mood, the Rock Candy, and the So Jaded. I have two of these pastel palettes from Beauty Bay, which I like to use a lot. Well, not really a lot, but I like them. Then, oh my gosh, this one is so, so stinking cute. I love this. The Rudolph palette from ColourPop. This one was just my just a beautiful cute little holiday palette um yeah this is where my kind of like my drugstore and color pop palettes are got this one from nyx the ultimate palette in phoenix then i got this batman collection from revolution this batman palette the joker palette and the harley quinn palette then these are my color pop ones so i have dream street the Wild Nothing, Lush Life, California Love, the Zodiac, and the Liz McGuire palette. I love that one so much. Then from NYX also have the Ultimate Brights. What's this one? Oh, the Milani Pure Passion. Don't know why they ever got rid of that. Then I have my monochromatic ones from ColourPop, the Main Squeeze. What's this one? In a Trance. I got rid of that one. The Just My Luck. The Aha uh -huh Honey and the Orange You Glad. Yeah. Ooh, then I have the Mandalorian one. The Coconut, Going Coconuts. That's Taupe and Tinkerbell. Then, then I have the larger Batman palette from Makeup Revolution. Now, I love Batman, so I really bought it because it's Batman. Then this is a palette of like single shadows. Then Norvina, one, two, and three. And then my Mitchell, made by Mitchell palettes down there. Then these are just some Z palettes. These are my JD Glow shadows. I love, love, love those. Then this one has some new shadows from Shine by SD that I recently bought. Oh no, bitch, you better be careful in there. I gotta keep her safe. Then I got more palettes back here. The Pure and Robbie Christie, this Ofra Good to Go palette, and then I have a lot of single shadows down here. We won't, don't need to get into those today. And I have both of these Persona palettes, Identity palette and Identity 2. Got two Naba palettes, the Secret palette and the Poison Garden House Labs, which used to be a, used to be a favorite. Um, the Nomad palette by Juvius and the Saharan by Juvius as well. So that was this chaotic drawer. So these are like my old drawers. Hi, coffee cup. Um, yeah, they're broken. Like, 
this one is this one's newer and like not broken like none of these drawers are broken yet so in here i just have my color pops super shock shadows a bunch of glitters um so that's this drawer and these are light enough to where it's not gonna break anything then i have like my single and liquid shadows um these from kosis i adore i kind of bummed that they um reformulated because <laughs> i have not heard good things about that um this i get a lot of use out of these and Myricks color fix foils insane got my auric in here and i have a bunch of my if you saw my haul video you saw a bunch of these products in there then i have liners mascaras and brow products um some of my favorites are the abh lash brack i have a couple of backups of those the charlotte tilbury push-up pillow top pillow oh my gosh the charlotte tilbury pillow talk push-up lashes i love this one and then the rare beauty love those and then these are some of my these are some of my favorite brow products ever and we'll skip over to this one really quick this one is holding my lip liners they used to be in a little acrylic case so i need a new way of organizing my lip liners so i got to add this one from natasha denona in here and then we'll go into this next chaotic drawer um this is currently holding every lip product that i have and i need to i started stacking my lipsticks but i need a lipstick organizer so let me try to organize this one really quick okay i took say i took some things out so this this looks a bit better so these are kind of more of my like classic lipstick products including some like lip crayons back here um so i have my shoulder tubes my ysl this is like my favorite summer lipstick the gucci patch mcgrath this new merit one that i love natasha denona she's new and i love them it not them i love these these are them the my makeup by mario moisture glow lip plumping thingies so beautiful um kylie <laughs> um bite beauty rem Ilia, mac rare Milani, this one is like the matte lipstick I love, the Fenty Slip Shine. Yes. And then Clinique Black Honey, Juvia's Place, Wet n Wild, L'Oreal, Colourpop, Fenty, Marshall at Tilbs, KB, nope, not KBD, KKW. Um, these are the Milani like glowy lip balm ones. Um, this, these two are the same shade from L'Oreal. It's really, really pretty. Then my ColourPop Just a Tint. I was obsessed with these for a long, like a long time ago. Um, but they're still around. Um, House Labs, Tower 28, NARS, Nude Sticks, NYX, the Sephora Collection, and then the Elf and Jen Atkins one. So that's more of my like regular like lipstick stuff. Okay, this looks better. So a lot of these are lip glosses. I don't have too many matte lipsticks left in my collection. Um, but these are some of my favorites. This one's new, Make by Mario. The L'Oreal, like, liquid lip balm stuff. Super, super good. Merit, I love these. The Tower 28, my favorite glosses. Rowan. Um, this Item Beauty lip oil is actually super nice. Um, my Fenty glasses, more Tower 28 minis. Just a bunch of, a bunch of random things in here. So that was not too bad for a makeup collection video. I feel like that was kind of short and sweet. It didn't really go into that much detail but I mean if I did we'd be here forever so I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a like and subscribe before you go um I'm so hungry so I'm gonna go eat something um and yeah thanks for watching bye